If you have the means, we highly recommend you consider picking up this replica Ferrari GT Spider California that had a starring role in 1986 film Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Granted, Ferris Bueller, played by Matthew Broderick, and his friend Cameron Thrott, played by Alan Ruck, ended up completely destroying the car in the movie. Don't worry, this wasn't the one that went careening backwards out of a garage. This car, one of three built for the film, is fully restored and is in complete working order, according to Mechum Auction. Set to go under the auction hammer later this month during Monterey Car Week, the Ferris Bueller Ferrari is a cinematic and photogenic gem, despite the fact that, ahem, it's not an actual classic Ferrari. If it was, trust us, the price would be far in excess of the pre-sale estimate of $250,000 to $300,000, which Mechum has placed on the car. For reference, back in 2012, a true 1962 Ferrari 250 GTS WB California Spider found a new home after someone handed over more than $8 million to buy it. So, all in all, this phony Ferrari could be the steal of century, as long as you don't mind a 5.0-liter V8 engine under the hood, versus a screaming Ferrari V12. Originally built in 1985 by a California company called Modena Design and Development, this car is based around a steel tube frame and comes powered by a V8 fitted with four Weber carburetors. Power is fed to the rear wheels via a 5-speed manual gearbox. Design touches to make the car appear authentic include a Ferrari grille, chrome side vents and wire spoke wheels, Jaeger gauges across the dash, toggle switches, tan leather seats, a wooden steering wheel and period correct AM slash FM radio. Interestingly, the car is also fitted with air conditioning. The car is fresh from a 9-month restoration, carries its original van, and has apparently covered only 1,520 miles since new.